This video is a quick demonstration of Pokemetrics, my new Windows Phone 8 app. The idea is to make you a slightly better poker player um, by advising you before the flop comes down how strong your hand really is, not just based on your cards, but on the situation around you as well. An interesting feature on the first screen, if you scroll right to the bottom, is something called Live Mode. If I just turn that on, that stops the phone from locking so that you can just pick up the phone in the game and use it straight away don't have to worry about turning it on, unlocking it, resuming the app, all these things. Now this screen is the pre-flop profitability screen. Here we input some information about our surroundings and our cards and Pokemetrics will advise us how profitable this situation is likely to be for us, whether we should play or not. So if I say there are seven players, maybe I'm sat next to the big blind, and maybe I have the hand A7, somewhat borderline hand. Pokemetrics is suggesting I fold. Now you know if I change my uh, whether it's suited or not, so if they're the same suit, now it suggests I play because it's a stronger hand and in this situation it would be profitable. You can see as I change my seating position, the strength of this hand changes. So obviously in the dealer seat, or often the seat next to the dealer, statistically speaking, that is using real data rather than mathematical odds, that hand has proven to be profitable. Let's have a look at the other screen. Heads up, shove fold strategy. Here, if you're heads up, that is, there's just two players left, uh, one possible strategy you might employ, at least for some of the game, is shove fold, that is, go all in or fold, nothing in between. Um, in this case, first thing I enter is whether my opponent is all in or not. Because if they're already all in, you need a much stronger hand to call them. So let's say that they're, they're not already all in. I now put in my stack. I've said I've got 10,000. Big blind, 400. That means I've got 16.7 blinds left. So I'm not too desperate at the moment. Uh, let's say the cards I've been dealt are 9-7 offsuit. In this case the red bar indicates my hand strength, heads up, and the white vertical line is the threshold at which I say I'm all in. So because I haven't met that threshold I fold. If my cards were suited in this situation it suggests I shove or go all in. Now let's say the situation was rather more desperate the blind is actually 800, which means I've only got 8.3 blinds left. Here you can see the white line has moved a lot to the left, meaning that even a weaker hand such as 9-7 offsuit is now a candidate to go all in with. Uh, I'd personally recommend using this particular screen when you've got roughly 8 big blinds or less left. If you've got 20 big blinds or more, you probably don't want to use a, a shove fold strategy, you probably want to be getting into a few flops and wrestling with your opponent, but once you get more desperate this is an excellent way to play as it uses Nash Equilibrium, so you're playing mathematically optimally. No one can really exploit you when you're that desperate. That doesn't mean you're necessarily going to win, statistically uh, a stack that small is likely to lose anyway, but Given that situation, this is possibly the best way to play from about 8 big blinds or less. Um, just for convenience sake, I've included some hand ranks so that you can give this out to a beginner. Say for example you have a home game, uh, you want to, uh, to invite some people who haven't played very much, maybe there's an imbalance between the players in your game, uh, you can give the beginners this app. Uh, if you're if you're that brave, we've had uh, some interesting experiences where beginners have turned up to a tournament and absolutely destroyed us. Uh, so do it at your own risk, obviously, but it can make um, an imbalanced game a lot more fun. Well, that's Pokemetrics. I hope it's helpful for you, and I hope you have a lot of fun using it. Uh, and if you do, please do leave a rating. It's always helpful to to know any ideas you have for improvements or if the things that I'm doing are actually working really well for you, then that's great. Thank you and good luck.